Good morning. Today we're going to make dosha balls or dosha pancakes. It's 11.20. I'm going to write that down to show you how quickly and easily this can be made. What's so great is that this meal children love as packed uh, full of protein and you can make it quickly in the mornings and put it in their lunch box and they have a, a high protein packed lunch or snacks. So this is, a, I'm calling it dosa balls or pancakes. We'll use it in a muffin pan. I also have a, a plain pan here where we'll make pancakes for this if you don't have a muffin pan. These can also be fried, deep fat fried, but we try and stay away from uh, too much oil. The main ingredient and almost the only ingredient in here is udet flour. It's also known as ured flour, mat, mat pea flour, and black gram flour. They're all the same and they all have different names. And when you go to the Indian store, they can tell you. So here, in one instance, it's called ured flour, but here you also see uh, black mat, mat pea flour. It's also black gram flour. Here's the other one, and it's called udet flour. Udet flour. And they're all the same. They're all from the black gram lentil, which is has its skin taken off. The skin is black, but when you take the skin off, it's white. And then this is ground into a flour. And because it's a legume, I believe it is... Uh, is it gluten-free? So this is a gluten-free, high-protein, high-fiber snack. Watch how easy it is. One of these whole bags is $2.50. So, and there's several, many, many cups in here. So, I'm just going to, my ingredients are the flour, one cup of flour, one cup of water, which we'll watch carefully because we're looking for a certain consistency, some salt, oil, and optional is a little, a small onion dice. So, I'm going to make it with a small onion dice, but literally this is all it has to be. We're looking for consistency, like a little bit more toothpaste, but you'll, you'll get the feel yourself, and I'll put a cup of tap water. I'm going to put the salt in now. This is a teaspoon. I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon. Uh, you can do a, a salt taste test later, after the first salt. And if you put too much water in, of course, you just add more black gram flour. I have my muffin pan. This is called a muffin pan, and we got it on Amazon.com. Uh, that's been on for a while. You'll find it's hard to get the right temperature. It's just like pancakes, you know, the first ones often aren't as good as they should be. Now, in theory, it's ready to go. I'm going to make a little looser. So the first, I'm going to make a few without the onions in it, and then I'll, I'm going to make some with onions. You can also put peas in here, cabbage, green chilies. I use sesame oil. And this is a, a teaspoon, and you'll notice I use a little less than a teaspoon. I'm just going to get the oil around. So you see how quickly it took to make that. It's 11.27. As you see, there's no fermenting involved. You'll get used to the size yourself. What's the best? I think this is a teaspoon. I'm 
I'm going to let that uh, cook a little. And this is where you have to get used to your own pan. I'm going to start this pan going to, see, to show you what a pancake cooks like. You may not have this. And to make balls, you can also deep fat fry it in uh, you know, that much oil in a pot. While this is cooking, I have just another empty bowl here. Where I have my, I chopped up some onions. So you see how nicely this coats this cabbage, green peas, whatever your favorite vegetable is. Now this is heating up as well. Now here's where you could test it for salt purposes. I happen to know from tasting the raw dough that it's fine. I'm just going to push it down so it's the other side. You could add more oil now, but again, we don't. We only really want to limit our oil. But this really satisfies the need for a salty, oily uh, dish, and it's full of protein and fiber. And it shows you how quickly we can make this. I'm going to put the camera on here to start a pancake going to show you how that would be, because almost everyone has a frying pan, but not a muffin pan. So in this pan here, I'm just going to put some oil. Now, just to give you an idea how big these little balls are, I got out two olives, two salad olives, to show you how they look. So they're about three times the size of olives. So they're not muffins, they're just about a teaspoon of dough in there. It's just to show the uh, size. I didn't have a lemon or anything. Oh, that's with onion. That's with onion. And this is without. I'm going to show them. Because not everyone would have a muffin pan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look at this, how nice that is. The heat needs to be a little higher, but that's... What is the drosha? Yeah. But with the, just my right, I think? Yeah. Oh, I want to taste that. Yeah. So these are done. These are all done? Yeah, they're all done. And these do go well. The kids love them. They're like chicken McNuggets, but without <laughs> any animals in them. High fiber, low fat, high energy, high protein. Uh, McNuggets. Uded McNuggets, that's right. Okay. So, you, the oil you can put in a juicy oh, spoon. Do I remember it, huh? Yeah. This one? This one. It's a teaspoon of oil that goes almost the whole way. So about a teaspoon and a half oil. And now Alu is going to put in the onion mix, which is just this plain urded batter with onions chopped up. And I told them they can put cabbage in there or green peas would go well. So, no, I would put the green chili. Oh, green chili, yeah. So look how nice this is done. And again, now is the time you would taste for salt if, if, if you weren't sure. So your future batters, you know, your future balls can <coughs> have salt the right amount. I happen to know this is the right amount for me. So now, okay, we're going to make one pancake with this mixture. I'm going to give it the heat increases as these go so the first ones are slow going
Wow, they look great. Now, there's a way to make these sweet also. I have to ask your sister how to make it sweet. I don't know. I think she's done it with brown sugar and she might have even put some raisins inside. Really? I think so. Yep. It changes the taste. Ooh, it's hot. Something is hot. I had a little green... Uh, Chili? But I didn't actually put it in. It was near it. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. What was it? I don't know. Maybe it was in the pan? Mm -hmm. We'll put the onion ones here in this one so know. we can see the difference, how they look. Uh, 11.42. So you see how quickly this is going. We started at 11.20. I told them they can add more oil in there if they want, but it's just not necessary. Yeah, I don't. So from one cup, uh, one cup of oudad flour, which is also known as oured flour or mat pea flour or black gram flour, uh, which has uh, 28 grams of protein in this cup, We've made all these, we've one, two, three, four, five, six balls and uh, two pancakes and there's still some left and we'll continue. But I just wanted you to see this. So we started at 11.20 and we're hungry. So I'll end it at 11.45. Can I turn this uh, fire off? Yeah. This is more than but I want them to see the, the finished product. There's that. And then here's the onion one, the onion pancake. It's funny too how shapes taste, uh, change taste. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh. Okay, and these are the ones without onions. Okay, okay. You come out of the kitchen, so. So can you put them side by side, show them? Oh. So I hope you enjoy this. If you make some, send me some pictures and I'll post them with this uh, recipe. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.